look like a hobo who hasn't showered in 14 days. You ain't got no game with the ladies, bitch. Oh, yeah, motherfucker. Well, we about to test to see if I have any game today. So strap it. I'm about to teach you something. Ah, what is up, everybody? My name is Tom, and this is Super seducer yes y'all this game is exactly what it looks like it is it's a dating kind of game where apparently this guy right here in the middle who by the way looks mad as hell is apparently gonna teach us some dating skills and how to work the magic with the ladies now y'all are always telling me down below top top you got no game bitch and loki you might be right but there's really only one way to find out if i have any game at all y'all and that's to test and see how i do in this love guru creation game that we're about to play today now the way i reckon it, everybody that watches this video or plays this game is a winner in some way right for me and all the other boys out there yo we learned some tips on how to make the moves on the ladies for all the ladies out there you know exactly what to look for and what to avoid because loki if some homie comes up to you and is using the tips that we learned in this game on you you know to avoid that bitch because he's playing this creepy ass game wait I guess that's me. Okay, wait, hold on, y'all. Stop, for real, for real. Let's just jump into this game and see what it is. It looked troll as shit, and it looked like it was gonna be pretty funny, so I figured, hell, we might as well give it a shot. So let's jump right into this shit, y'all. Let's uh, motherfuck. Go. Woo! Okay, y'all, here we go. Here we go. Let's see what my man has got for me. I'm just gonna click. And hey mate, Richard Lagarino, your friendly neighborhood seduction guru here and welcome to Super Seducer. I'm so excited to be getting it into your hands. We had a fantastic time creating it and I hope that you have a real blast playing it. But it's also going to be really interesting, I hope, and psychologically challenging because we used real dating principles in coming up with the game. So go ahead, jump in there and finally thank you so much for buying it and I hope you really enjoy it. Look at my man's v-neck with his chest hair popping out! Oh, look again! Look again! Okay, y'all! Oh yeah, we're in for a treat today! Alright, alright, stop, stop, stop! Let me see what I got. Let me turn on subtitles really quick. Alright, so I got my subtitles on, and Loki, y'all, I am just ready to get into this shit. I'm not gonna read the advice book, I'm not gonna go into the- I'm not doing any of that shit, bitch. We going straight for the story mode, and it looks like chapter number one is Girl on the Street. Now, oh shit, what does it say? You're walking and a girl catches your eye. Can you stop her, get her to talk to you, and make and make her want to see you again? Goal, instant date. All right, I, I already forgot what this bitch's name was. He called himself the love guru, though. So let's see if we can't impress. Oh, here's the master right here himself. Okay, he's walking along. We got uh, this nice lady walking along. Ooh, we got that smirk on our face. Okay, step number one, my man. You got to smile, right? You got to cheese on that ass. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. All right, my man. Oh, look at look at the scheming face. Oh hell no! Nah. This bitch looks like a level ten creeper. Okay, hold on. Let's see what our choices are. Approach directly in front. Approach slightly in front and to the side. Pretend to be blind. What the? Okay, so, stop. Uh, walking next to her. Wolf whistle. Yo, what up, girl? Walking with her. Aha. Uh -huh. Listen, I'm just gonna go with A because most of these other options sound like you gotta be a moron to pick that shit. So let me just go with A. Let me just go with A and we'll see how this goes. Approach directly in front. All right, so here we come. I don't know what this bitch's name was, y'all. I already That's forgot. That's correct. When you stop a girl on the street, you need to be directly in front of her and also leave enough space so that she can slow down and comfortably stop. What the hell was that? Wait a minute! Why was my man on a bed with two ladies who weren't even looking at the camera? Like, these are basic cinematic tips. Okay, and they didn't have any clothes on. I don't know. Uh, listen, y'all, I don't know. Okay, we're all in this shit together. All right, let me see. Let me see. So apparently we did that correctly because whatever his name was was telling us, the guru was telling us that we did something correctly. So my man has got the nastiest scheme and creep face I've ever seen in my life. And if I was this girl, I would be gone. But listen. Apparently we're doing it right, so let me see what the new options are. Let me see what the new shit is. I just saw you and wanted to let you know you look very elegant. 
Oh my God. Hey, do you have a minute? Okay, now see this, if you heard somebody like this and they're giving you this eyeball right here, you better take off because this bitch about to throw you in a minivan. Okay, I'm just saying. All right. Uh, hey, I don't know you from one, oh, hey, don't I know you from one of my yoga classes? I, I don't do yoga, bitch, so that's a straight up lie. Uh, I think you're very beautiful. I'd love to go down on, okay. Y'all can read that for yourself. And E says, didn't we both go to the same college? Oh, shit. I don't know, y'all. I feel like it's between A and B. And maybe E. Because, uh, I don't know, there's just something not right about B. With this man's face like this, there's just something not right about it. I'm creeped out. So I'm not going to go with that one. This one has the word elegant in it, y'all. And that's just not working for me. I don't think that's right. I'm going to go with, didn't we both go to the same college? And, and hope that this plays out right. Let's see. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't you used to go to this college over here? I'm sure um, I recognize you. Yeah, actually. Uh, yeah, I was sure. Was it, what was it, drama class? I did take drama. I don't remember you. I knew it. I knew you looked familiar. <laughs> How long ago? Hmm, what was it? I don't know, six years or something, right? Hmm, not for me, but it's cool we had both took drama. Oh, Lord. This is okay. Um, you can say things like, you know, you're from my yoga class, you're from my college. Might be okay. Not bad. What so are what's the your plans for today? I'm actually going to the park uh, to feed the yeah. squirrels with my friend. What? Feed squirrels? Yeah. And ducks or squirrels? <laughs> no, just the squirrels. These we, little uh, guys, yeah? Yeah, we got them to be our friends. What do you of. feed them? Like hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> um, almonds. Almonds? Yeah. That's their favorite, is it? It seems to be. That's nice. Well, they're really cute, aren't they? They are very cute. You yeah, like animals? Fun. I do. Mm, nice. Yes. That mm. sounds fun, actually. I never thought of that. But buy some almonds, go feed the squirrels. You should try it sometime. Okay. What are you doing today? Yeah, okay, so right up, okay, listen, 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 listen! Okay, my man might be a love guru, okay? I don't know his credentials, I don't know. I, the, 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 the bed seat, like where it cuts to my man on the bed with the two ladies, that's just throwing me off. But listen, my man might be a love guru, he might not be. Bitch, I don't know. What I do know for certain, though, is that my man is no acting guru, okay? Because this shit needs some work. Okay, listen. I was with the, 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 the cut rate storyline right up until she said, what are you doing today? No way she would have said that. My man said, are you feeding the squirrels hot dogs? No, I'd be gone. I'd be gone. Okay, listen, listen. Okay, stop. Relax, Dom. Relax. Pick the appropriate option. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ask her questions to get her to do most of the talking. You're just so beautiful. Would you mind if I kissed you right now? Lean in for a kiss. Okay, that was the most awkward conversation I have ever watched. So I'm going to go with a probably not. All right, and then this one says you do most of the talking. Now, I do know that you're supposed to let them do most of the talking, so I'm going with A. Do you live local around here somewhere? Yeah. That's nice. She and do you spend so a lot of time in this area? I um, I do, yeah. There's a nice coffee shop just down there. Have you been there? I have, um, but I'm going to meet a friend actually, so I need to go. Okay, what's her name? Is it a he or a she, actually? Damn, we in the beginning, rat. the girl actually shouldn't do most of the talking, so you don't want to ask a bunch of questions. You want to make statements and do most of the talking yourself. game so i went off the rails we went off the rails y'all we derailed and we crashed in the fence over there across the street all right i guess the answer is c let's try c yeah i was just walking there's a nice park down there and then i'm gonna meet some friends but i've got like 40 minutes and that's why when i saw you and i thought you looked friendly so that's why i came over and said hi my man didn't say elegant he's fucking okay up. In the early stages of an interaction, you actually do want to make most of the conversation so that she has a chance to relax, get comfortable talking to you, uh, snap out of the mindset that she was in, thinking about what she's doing and where she's going. So that's the right one. We what might hire some that? bikes and go riding around the park. There's like a nice spot where they rent out bikes and it's on the lake. And yeah, whatever. but you, so. you ride bikes in there? Well, I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we do, like the penny farthing and the the suit on okay. and sitting really up up straight that's very no, fancy I'm, for bikes. I, I will change I will okay change, yeah. what okay i don't listen i don't know y'all let's just see what the i'm gonna stop talking because clearly i got no game and my the love guru's teaching me some shit so let me see let me see what the choices are here and we'll hopefully not derail part two all right a use checking out her earnings as an excuse to touch her 
Uh-huh, okay, went pretty full-on creep there pretty quick. B, start touching yourself to get her turned on. I thought we were talking about riding bikes, bitch. How did we get here? Um, find an excuse to take off your shirt and show your physique. Okay, probably not that one. Ask her what she does for a living because she looks artistic. She does look a little artistic. Uh, ask what hairstyle she thinks would be good for you. Okay, listen, y'all, come on! The only not-idiot choice here is D! And tell me, what do you do? Because you, you look a bit artistic. Watch the shit be wrong. <laughs> um, well, I actually work in non-profit. Non-profit? Charity, yeah. Ah, uh, I like making profit, so that's... What no, do I'm you joking, do? I'm joking, I'm <laughs> joking. I work in IT, but... Okay. No, that's cool. So you're not so focused on money, you like doing good things. Yeah. That's cool. Thanks. I'm focused on, uh, money. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Because yeah. IT can be creative too, so... Sure, this yeah. yeah. Asking what someone does is that kind of usual question that we always ask, but in this case you want to make a guess, make an assumption, it makes it a little bit more interesting. And if you choose something to do with fashion or art, it's always a compliment for a woman because it kind of says that she has style. This is the most awkward conversation I have ever seen! I don't get it! How is she not gone? I would have jumped on the nearest moped and zoomed off on this bitch. I don't get this. I don't get this. If I'm not having awkward conversations like this, clearly that's why I'm single. Shit. Okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Stop. Okay, relax. Are you single? Ask her name and then say your name too. Introduce yourself. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Are you an idiot? Okay, stop. Okay, I'm going with C. I'm going with C. My name is Richard, by the way. Hey, nice to meet you. And your name? Alexa. <laughs> It's good that you have a name. I was just waiting for it a while, but it's good that you have one. Thanks. Rather than just asking her name, you can always introduce yourself. It's a little bit different to what most guys do, and it's a positive difference. What kind of things do you like to do in your free time? Mm, I actually don't have a lot of free time. I work, well, a, I work a lot, so when I'm not working, I like to be outside. Yeah. Um, yeah, I try to be outdoors as much as possible. I actually bike where you mentioned. Okay. Um, yeah, I just try to be outdoors. So you're one of these active people that's always doing stuff? <laughs> yeah, it's hard for me to stay sitting down. Not couch potato? Well, every now and then, but in general, no. More active than okay. down. I'm kind of semi-active. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I do some active stuff, but actually that I prefer it when, funny. you know, someone else plans everything and they, like, come to this. And I always say yes. Okay. But given the choice, I often just chill at home. That's I like fair. chilling. Listen, y'all, there is no way the tips this bitch is giving are real! This is the most, uh, most awkward conversation I've ever seen! I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, can I have your phone number? Listen, I need to meet some friends, but I'd like to see you again. What's your number? Sell her on one of your hobbies. I love how casual you look. I hate girls that always try to look their best. Okay, probably shouldn't be hitting anybody with the hate line in our first awkward conversation that I have no idea is still I don't have any idea how this shit's still continuing. I really don't. So let me just let me just throw off D. Let me throw off D. It sounds a little too negative. Let's see. Um I don't know. See, I'm I'm stuck between C and B, okay? So I'm not, I don't think A is the right choice because A, with A, you get the same thing you get with B, but you also don't look busy, okay? So I feel like if you if you look a little busy, then you're playing a little hard to get. Then you're playing a little hard to get. So I feel like B is a better choice than A, so that's why A is gone. But now I'm between B and C because she was talking about biking and how she likes biking. So I, let's try that. I might go off the rails here, let's see. Have you ever tried climbing? You know, like these walls <laughs> I've heard of it. Um, I've always fight. wanted to, but I haven't yet. You know, it's very cool. We've got some place that we go to. I've only been like four times, but it's really fun. Very good exercise and just really cool. So she did say she was definitely active. try it. Maybe. Yeah, I would like to. Not with me though. I'm when you're speaking to girls, it's good to be passionate about something. And a good choice is something you love to do, a hobby. Now, why don't you see if you can go out and sell someone on it, make it so that they're smiling like, yeah, I'd like to do that, that sounds great. So it's, it's the right option in this case. Okay, so you said you like biking and rock climbing. Yeah. Um, any other like outdoor activities? No yeah, way stuff. she would ask um, that, no racket way. sports. Like tennis? Um, yeah, tennis and also squash, you know what squash is? <laughs> it's the English thing, I don't know I about mean, most it, sports no. were invented in England, obviously, but I think they play it everywhere. It's, um, it's like when you're, you're usually inside and you've got a wall like in front to the sides and in the back and you okay. can hit the ball like 
anywhere. And it, I think it's the best exercise. You're constantly running and... Yeah, yeah. it sounds it's very cool. kind of dangerous, but fun. No, oh, no, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> the ball is only um, like that big, so even if it hits you, it's not too bad. Okay. You and can smash each other with, with the rackets, but <laughs> rarely happens. Hmm. You and should try it. I might sometime. Uh, you said you work in IT? Stop. No way. There is no way. She would have been gone 15 minutes ago. No, listen, no way. No, I don't buy any of it. I don't buy any of this shit, but I'm playing along. I'm playing along. Oh, Lordy. Okay, okay. Not, I'm not even going to read A. Y'all can read that shit on your own. That's some stupid shit. If you say that, you deserve to get smacked, okay? All right, what's B? Programmer and be passionate about it. Wait, what did she ask me? Oh, she asked me if I worked in IT. Okay, I remember now. Uh, programmer and be passionate about it. Programmer and it's really boring and I don't like it that much. Programmer, but switch to talking about life philosophy, Kate, no. Uh, say you are a model scout. What the? Uh, B. I'm going with B. Yeah, I work in IT and actually I love my job. I think that, uh, you know, people think IT is boring, but at the moment it's like the most exciting Field, right to work in there's so many cool companies I really love my job so happy to <laughs> to go to work every day and um, yeah it's fascinating for me that's great if you have a job and you think it's boring that's not important okay. um, the thing that you I'm need done. to do is show that you have passion for something if it's, if you do like your job even if you think other people are not interested speak passionately about it and you can get them to buy in feel at least the emotion even if they don't understand it that well so you know don't worry about it being boring worry about how you tell others about it and hope that your emotion will be contagious you know this guy rents so out a house you to always stop growing you know in the street Oh shit, what did he say? What did she- oh, what did he say? What did she say? Something about stopping people on the street? Uh, I think that's what she said. I think she, I think she said, do you usually stop people on the street? Okay, I think- okay, actually, yeah, quite often, not the right answer. Uh, no, no, of course not, never, okay, lie. Uh, not too often, but when I like the look of someone and I'm single, why not? Only if they look like they are- okay. Alright, so let's see. So, I don't know why. Listen, okay, my man, my man who made this game, did you throw this shit in here just to see how many stupid bitches were playing this shit? Cause, uh, who picks that? Who- I don't know. I don't know. Listen, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go... Oh, shit. D? No, not D. Shit, sorry. C? If I pick B, she knows I'm a liar. If I pick C, I don't look super desperate, but I can still justify the conversation that we're having. So I feel like C is the right choice, but honestly, yo, I've been too shocked. I don't know anymore. I yeah, not often at all, but I think when I'm single, when mm -hmm. I like the look of someone, I figure why not start a conversation because you never know what will happen. Yeah. Could become friends, could date, or just have a nice interaction. Why not, right? Definitely. This is the right choice because actually it's honest and it's disarmingly honest. So it's going to take her back a little bit, but it's going to also show that you're telling tr the truth, that she can trust you and show that you're confident enough to, to say that instead of making up some rubbish. So it's the right choice. Well done. I don't know, y'all. I mean, I said that exact same thing, but I'm still not sold. I'm not sold. I don't know, y'all. There's just something suspect about this game. Okay, let's see. Listen, I have a few minutes. Why don't we grab coffee? Listen, I need to meet some friends, but I'd like to see you again. What's your number? Give her your number. You know, I live near here. Okay, I'm not even gonna read that. Okay, let's see. So it seems like D is always the dumbass choice. Maybe that's what D stands for, dumbass. Okay, so if you pick that shit, you're messing up. Let's see. I'm between A and B. I'm between A and B. Uh, she said she was meeting people though, so I bet she's busy. So I'm gonna go with B. Listen, I need to meet some friends, but why don't you give me your number and we'll keep in touch and yeah. find the time to meet. Sure, that'd be great. No way, no way, shit, I don't buy it. No. You did pretty well. You didn't get the very best result, which meant that you made a few decisions that weren't quite ideal, but you did enough yeah, to like get the result game. and see the go again. You got the number, so well done. Why did that bitch give me the half heart when I had like the full heart on all of my choices? Results, Casanova. That's correct. When you stop a girl on the street, you need to be directly in front of her and also leave enough space so that she can slow down and comfortably stop. Might be okay. Not bad. I already seen this! In the early stages of an interaction, you actually do want to make okay, most stop, of the conversation. Wait, okay, stop, 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 yo, stop! Wait a minute! 
Wait a minute, wait a minute with this whole game! Okay, yo, this game turned out to be just as troll as I thought it would be, except there is no way that that girl did not take off after our first five minutes of awkward conversation where my ass was basically just creeping. Okay, no way, I'm calling bullshit. Okay, wait, yo, stop, hang on, yo, stop. I'm gonna call this gameplay of Super Seducer right here. This game, although it was, like I said, a lot of suspect shit, I thought it was kind of fun, and I think that y'all might enjoy this episode. So if y'all did, make sure y'all leave me some love, double little thing, like, and subscribe, guys, because I have new videos coming out every single day for all of y'all. And y'all are gonna have to let me know if you want to see some more of this game. Okay, maybe y'all learned some legitimate tips from this shit. I don't know. Okay, or maybe you learned what not to do. Probably more likely. But either way, if y'all want to see me come back and play some more of this game, let me know. I did end up paying like thirteen dollars or some shit for this game, and there are a lot of choices on here that we can go through and pick and play so if y'all want to see some more of this game let me know but y'all are gonna have to let me know because low-key this shit is way different from most of the things that i play on my channel and if y'all want to see some more you're gonna have to let me know that's basically just what it comes down to i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow suggest some other new shit down below and like i said again let me know if y'all want to see some more of this i'm out bye no way i look like i was gonna kidnap her in the beginning no way she wasn't gone i don't buy it i'm out